In this video I want to show you how to install Ubuntu Linux as a sole operating system on a new PC or on a PC that you don't need the information that is on it. So this is not a dual boot video. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel and you find my channel interesting, please take a moment to subscribe. This will greatly help the channel. The requirements to achieve this are, first we need Ubuntu ISO from Ubuntu.com, then you need a USB key that is 8GB or more, third you need a software that will install the ISO file on the USB key and we are going to use Rufus and of course you need a Windows 10 PC to prepare this USB key on. So let's start by downloading Ubuntu desktop from Ubuntu.com, open your web browser and go to Ubuntu.com, click on accept and visit site if you are prompted click on download and here this video is for showing you how to install Ubuntu desktop so here you have two versions you have the LTS version and you have another version which is higher I recommend you always to get the LTS version because it's supported for a longer time by the Ubuntu community and at this time of this video as you see this is 20.04 version of course when you see this video maybe the version will be different so click on the LTS version and the download should start automatically and here's the download starting so it's a pretty big download it's 2.7 gigabytes I'm gonna cut this video and come back when this download is finished so now the download of the Ubuntu ISO file is finished and this is the downloaded file we need to put this ISO file on a USB key we're gonna be using Rufus to do this so insert the USB key into your Windows 10 PC now I'm using here a 32GB 3.0 USB key. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for a recommended USB key because it's preferably to use a fast USB key. So open a new tab in the browser and go to rufus.ie scroll down to almost the middle of the page and here click on Rufus Portable this is the latest version at the time of this video it is 3.14 it might be different when you see this video so the download of Rufus will start this is an executable file and it doesn't need installation so as soon as it is downloaded open the folder where it was downloaded and here it is and double click it to start it let me minimize all these windows click yes if prompted and here it will prompt you to check for updates click yes and you see here it selected the USB key automatically in case it didn't select the USB automatically click on the drop down list here and make sure that you select the correct USB key because everything on it will be white so this is my USB key here and then here you need to click on select and then select the Ubuntu ISO file that we just downloaded and click on open and here leave everything by default as it is and just click on start choose write in DD image mode and then click on OK this is a warning saying that the USB key will be completely wiped click on OK of course make sure that you selected the correct USB key first and then the writing of the image starts of course the operation depends on the speed of your USB key and on the speed of your hard drive and so on so I'm gonna cut this video and come back when the writing of the image is finished so now the transfer of the ISO file to the USB flash drive is finished click on close remove the USB key from your PC and I'm gonna switch now to an external camera and show you how to install Ubuntu on a PC so now on the PC where you want to install Ubuntu insert the USB key that you prepared and then turn on the PC if the PC doesn't have any operating system on its internal hard drive it will start automatically from the USB key but if it has an operating system you should start from the USB key so press the hot boot key to start it from the USB key it might be F12, it might be Dell or 
another key and here as you saw it started from the USB key it performs a check first of the USB key wait for it to finish and when the check is finished Ubuntu will start and here's Ubuntu starting click on install Ubuntu and of course choose the language you want here I'm gonna keep it on English for me click on continue and here keep it on normal installation and make sure to check install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware so this way you have a bigger chance of Ubuntu detecting your hardware especially your Wi-Fi card and then click on continue so now Ubuntu will detect the hard drive that are in the PC so here it detected the hard drive it will ask you if you want to erase the disk or if you want something else because this video is not a dual boot and because this video is to install Ubuntu on a new PC or on a PC that you don't want the information on thus you want to erase the PC I'm gonna keep it on erase disk and install Ubuntu now if you have multiple hard drives in your PC click on something else I'm just gonna click on it to show you and here you choose the hard drive you want to install Ubuntu on but here I'm gonna click on back and I'm gonna keep it on erase disk and here please make sure that you really want to erase the disk because there's no going back it will erase everything on the hard drive so here after you make sure that you want to erase everything click on install now and here's the warning also telling you that careful the disk will be erased click on continue and the installation of Ubuntu will continue so here it will ask you to choose your time zone for me it's good it's in New York so I'm gonna click on continue I'm in the Eastern time zone and here it will ask you to personalize the installation so for the name here I'm gonna put my information KST for knowledge sharing tech of course put the information you want so this is here your name this is your username and it will ask you to choose a password so I'm gonna put a password and for the username I'm okay with KST of course put your own information and then once you put everything here if you want to change also the computer name you can do it here I'm gonna leave it by default and then click on continue and here the installation program will start copying files so I'm gonna cut this video and come back when the installation is almost finished and now the installation of Ubuntu is finished you will receive this message installation is complete you need to restart the computer so here I'm gonna click on restart the computer and at this stage here after you click restart now remove the USB key so I'm removing the USB key now anyways Ubuntu will prompt you to remove the USB key I removed it and then I'm gonna press enter as it prompted me and now the PC should start from the internal hard drive with Ubuntu and here's Ubuntu starting I'm still gonna show you how to connect your Wi-Fi so that you can access the internet so this is the user you created here click on it and then put the password you put when you created the user in the setup program so when Ubuntu starts for the first time it will run a small wizard so before continuing this wizard I'm gonna connect it to the network so click here on the top right corner and then click on Wi-Fi not connected and then click on select network and select your network here so this is my Wi-Fi network click on connect put the password and then click on connect and you see here the Wi-Fi is connected so this is the wizard click on next here I'm not gonna set up live patch because it needs an Ubuntu one account and I don't have one of course feel free to set it up if you want to here it will ask you if you want to send information to Ubuntu I don't like to do it so I selected no next and here 
it's telling you if you want to use location services. Also, I don't want to use location services. So I kept it on off and then next. And now Ubuntu is ready to be used. Click on done and here's Ubuntu running. And that was all. I hope you liked this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I want to thank you all for watching and until next time.